So it will be Keegan Nyer on the pole in the 34 outside Joe Trichillo in the number 32. Row number two, it's Owen Nyer, the point leader in the 17, along with the one of Paul DeRoder. Row three, Cole Perry in the 23, and Joey Wilcox in the 73 from Watertown. Final row, it's Alan McDonald from Watertown in the 33. 12 laps is the distance. Donath Motor Works Limited Sportsman ready to go. White flag will be displayed. Glad everybody could join us here at k &M here tonight. Those of you watching on Dirt Track Digest, glad you could join us from the comfort of your home. And a uh, big shout out to Tommy and Kimmy Jock. Tommy, a uh, Dirt Car 358 modified driver. Wife Kimmy has been putting up with him for a long time. Hopefully you're having a good time at home. Enjoy the show. 12 laps for the limited sportsmen. We're underway. Egan Nyer got out into the lead, but we are going to try that start one more time. We will try that again. The white cone over there in turn number four is where we fire from, right there, right where Keegan Nyer just drove by. This season in the Donneth Motorworks Limited Sportsman, May the 6th of his Owen Nyer, May 13th, Cole Perry. Keegan Nyer on May the 20th, rain on June 3rd. Owen Nyer for win number two on June the 10th. Paul DeRoder has been on a tear June 17th, July 8th, July 15th. Three consecutive wins. Could he get four here tonight? Yeah. We are about ready to find out. What's this we got? Limited sportsman, first, first feature. First one was a no Set to go. 12 laps. The Donath Motorworks Limited Sportsmen are set to go off of turn. To look out, the Nyers are hooked together. Keegan and Owen got hooked together on that initial start, and they continue on, but they lost a lot of spots. And Joe Trichillo with the lead. Yellow lights are back on one more time. We are going to try that start one more time. White flag displayed. We're going to go green next time. Bye. Keegan Nyers had a tough couple of weeks the last two weeks in a row here after finishing no worse than third up to June 17th. But July 8th and last week, it was just tough sledding out there. Broke the last couple of weeks, looking to get back to victory lane. He got one win on May the 20th. As we get set to go off of turn number four, green lights are on, and we got it that time. Keegan Nyer has the lead. Joe Churchill got a wicked run through turn number two, trying to close the gap on Nyer as he hit the back straightaway into turn number three. Owen Nyer there for third as Cole Perry battles to the inside lane on Paul DeRutter. Off of turn number four, back down to the strength this time by Keegan Nyer. Leads by about a half a car length into turn number one. Joe Churchill, Owen Nyer, your top three at the moment. As it worked down the back straightaway, Trichillo looking quick down the back straightaway. Tries to pull even with a 34 of Nyer into turn number three and four. Back down to the line this time by Joe Trichillo on that outside lane. Looks like he's going to pick up the lead by a half a car length. Keegan Nyer staying right there with him, though, as they motor into turn number one and two. The battle for third behind them is a good one. Paul DeRutter in the 17 of Owen Nyer going at it. DeRutter. Make short work of that. Picks up the three spot. Owen Nyer back to fourth. 
Cole Perry completes the top five as they come back to the stripe this time by an air, air, excuse me, Keegan Dyer in control. Three down, nine to go. Keegan Dyer with a lean, a slides up in front of Joe Trichillo. Here comes Paul DeRutter. Keep in mind, Paul looking for four in a row here tonight as they motor into turn number three and four. Trichillo drives it deep into the corner this time, trying to make something happen on that outside lane. Keegan Dyer glued to the inside portion of the racetrack as they come back to the stripe. Four down, eight to go. Nyer with the advantage. Trichillo there for second. Paul DeRutter, Owen Nyer, and Cole Perry, the top five with Joey Wilcox and Alan McDonald completing your field. Top three start to pull away just a little bit as Keegan Nyer has the lead, looking for his second win of the season. Joe Trichillo trying to get his best career finish here as he drives down past Speedy into turn number one and two. Paul DeRutter still there for third, battling to that inside lane. Closing in on the halfway point, Paul DeRutter knows if he wants to get four in a row, he's going to have to get going right now, and getting by Joe Trichillo is one of the things he's got to do in order to get to Keegan Dyer. As they make their way down the front straightaway, halfway home, six down, six to go. Keegan Dyer looking to take it home. Paul DeRutter trying to deny him that as he battles with Joe Trichillo for the two spot. DeRutter down low. He'll pick up the spot as they hit turn number three and four. Paul DeRutter, your new second place car. Keegan Nyer a little out of shape as they come back to the line with five laps left to go. The race is on for the lead. Paul DeRutter has said it week in and week out. Every time he's been to Victory Lane, he says these Nyer kids are really good and they're really fast. And he knows he's got to get to Keegan Nyer in a hurry. If he wants to catch him for the lead, he knows Keegan can get away from him in a hurry as they work it back to the line this time by four laps left to go for Keegan Nyer. And so you work it down the back straight away. It's Keegan Nyer, the race leader, Paul DeRutter, Joe Churchill of the top three, Owen Nyer, Cole Perry, your top five. Joey Wilcox and Alan McDonald completed as they come back down to the line this time by. We will have three laps left to go. Paul DeRutter moving around that racetrack. Now he's trying to find some way to close the gap on the race leader. Keegan Nyer has held a stable lead about three car lengths this entire race. Paul DeRutter trying to get four in a row here as they come back to the line with two to go. DeRutter is going to take it away up on that outside lane to try to get a good run through turns one and two, but off of turn number two is where Nyer's a little bit better and actually pulls away from Paul DeRutter. Down the back straight away, we got caution on the racetrack. Joey Wilcox around in front of the race leaders in turn number four. Yellow lights are on. Exactly what Paul DeRutter wanted to see. Obviously not what Keegan Nyer wanted as we will go caution. It will be a green-white checkered here to finish this one out. Can Paul DeRutter go four in a row or will Keegan Dyer finally break the bad luck and go to victory lane for the second time this year? We're about to find out in a couple of laps. Coming around for one lap left to go. White flag is out this time by. It's Keegan Dyer, Paul DeRutter, Joe Churchillo, Owen Dyer, Cole Perry, the top five, Joey Wilcox, Alan McDonald. That'll be your running order. Once again, Miss Thousand Islands, Miss Adirondack has 50-50 tickets down here in front. Have you had to use your superhero powers yet down there? No? Yeah? Oh, you already did? Good. Yeah, all right. And we talked about that earlier. I said it's free game. If you want to, go for it. <laughs> Set for green. Keegan Dyer trying to hold on and win his second of the season. Paul DeRutter looking for his fourth in a row. Restart with two to go. Mike LeClaire looks him over. Paul DeRutter right up on the back bumper of Nyer as they come back to the line. We're back to green.
The runner stays on the bottom, trying to find the way to the back bumper of Keegan Nair, but Keegan Nair starting to pull away just a little bit. Car length and a half advantage over the one of De Rutter into turn number three and four. Keegan Nair trying to hold on to win this one. The white flag is in the air. Final trip around. Will the streak be over? Or will Paul De Rutter pull something off on the final lap? They're trying to get by Keegan Nair. Into turn number one and two. Nair keeps it glued to the bottom. Joe Churchillo making one last effort on that extreme outside lane, but he's going to run out of time. Keegan Nair pulling away. Checkered flag is out. Checkered flag is waving. And for the first time since May 20th of this year, Keegan Nair is a winner in the Donath Motorworks Limited Sportsman. Paul DeRutter's bid for four in a row comes up short at second, followed by Joe Churchillo into third. Owen oh, Nair. And now you're in victory lane. What does this mean to you? Oh, it means a lot after two bets. But here we are. Yeah, anybody want to thank? I know you've been working really hard this year. i got to thank my dad, Josh Minnett, Carson Crump, everybody else who helps on this thing. My uh, Mima and Papa, my uh, Aunt Tasha, and Tasha Kitty Shag Daycare, Steve Hall, Ellen J, everybody else. I know that last restart with, with Paul on your back bumper, you must have been kind of nervous.